me on the mat personally over 20 years teaching, you know, and, 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 and I find myself in a similar situation as you, as instructor. You know, you're trying to provide this very cohesive system to a student to maximize their success. It's not about me, it's about them. However, more I teach, more I notice that jujitsu is extremely difficult to track. It's very hard to create these anchor points, whether one is growing or not. And if so, how fast they are growing, how that growth compares to others, how that growth compares to the expectation that we have. And there's so many dynamics. I'm curious, what are your thoughts? Is there a have you discovered a system to allow you to track your students in some specific way to give you a little more clarity of what is going on inside their head while they get older, while jujitsu changes all the time? Uh, both me and, and my teacher, uh, Professor Eddie Cohn, we have a graduation test when you go from belt to belt. Now, what are we testing? We're testing your performance on the day, we're testing your uh, execution of the technique um, against a spectrum of resistance. So to begin with, we want to see, see you perform the technique that we are calling out without, re against, without any resistance. And then we want to see you show us what would you do if the opponent resisted in one way, a second way, or a third way? How would you adapt to that environment? And then uh, one last, one other thing that we do. Oh, yes, uh, surprise attack. So performance, you're standing facing the wall, and you know the opponent is behind you. And the idea is that you call, so, uh, so this is within a self-defense uh, company. Uh, and then when you hear the clap, you turn around. When you turn around, they're going to come at you with a technique that you're not sure what it is. You have to react instinctively. And the final one is you're standing in a circle, and anyone at any one point from that circle can announce that it's their turn, and uh, attack, and then you have to sort of defend against that. So what we decided, or sorry, what Professor Cohen decided, because his academy, what he decided is that this is the bar. I feel that I've done my job if I can see you perform under these circumstances, without resistance, with resistance, three or you know, four different kinds of resistance or stresses, uh, surprise attack, and then inside the self-defense circle. If I feel that you've demonstrated that you understand this enough, I feel like I've done my job. 